Hello everybody, this is Tony, Division 9 Collaborative, and uh, this is the first of a series of uh, tabletop video presentations. Uh, the first one is uh, based on uh, wood products, and uh, the table represents some of the items that we promote, and I'm going to talk about a few of them, not all of them, and just serve as an introduction to uh, some of the unique products that we, uh, we represent. I'm going to start with a product called Tambor. This is US-made material. There's various uh, examples of tambour. It's basically uh, wooden slats applied to a paper backing. The backing is made by uh, 3M. It's a very unique heavy paper, heavy duty material. So it's very easy to apply. These can be simply glued up. There are various species you can see on the table of different um, types of wood. It's all um, manufactured and resourced wood products from within the USA. Um, here you see the tambour in the rounds. We have um, a smaller uh, round and then a scaled up version of the same material. But as you can see, very flexible, uh, great for curves, uh, curved walls, uh, can be used wall or ceiling. Materials supplied in various widths and various lengths, um, typically uh, 12 to 16 inch widths and 48 inch, up to 48 inch uh, lengths. And then we also have some uh, metallics options as well. Here's just two of them. There's a, a silver version and also a gold version here where we can again uh, obtain different finishes. This is a little more reflective, um, but again, great for, um, great for areas where you have to uh, do columns or wrap around a, a, an end cap of a wall. And uh, it's very easily applied and installed based on the, the basic construction glue. Uh, on the back of the paper and then applied to the, um, the substrate. I'm going to move along to another factory that we work with, also US-based. Uh, the company is called Cutoffs. The name originates from the uh, fact that they use scraps and end-of-use end materials that they reuse and make their, uh, their products. And uh, they're also based in the US and use uh, locally resourced uh, wood products. First example I want to show you is a product called Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi is, um, again, it's applied uh, this, in this case on a birch backing material, which would be uh, attached to the substrate. The material is all tongue and groove. Um, this one is a uh, walnut. You can see the reference to Hi-Fi comes from the inverted indented uh, form of the material and uh, can be used obviously in walls, uh, even for ceilings. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, definitely an interlock pattern. These will come on a board uh, assembled roughly five inch by 48 inch uh, lengths and is easily applied to, uh, to substrate. Um, here's another example um, in the, uh, the white oak as opposed to the walnut, but you can see the way they can be uh, used together. And then also in the same series, um, I'll show you uh, a product called Louvre. And again, a couple of examples here showing the uh, louver strips. I uh, also applied to the birch backing material. And again, you have the, uh, the interlock tongue and groove patterns. Similar to the Hi-Fi, these will be roughly five inch by, I think this one, 49 inch, a little longer, but still in the sort of same matrix. And uh, typically, again, these can be used for walls or ceilings. And then the third in the series um, I wanted to show you is the resin wood. This um, is actually manufactured in Italy. Resin wood are basically shards of wood laid into a mold and then encapsulated with the resin. Um, as you can see here, we use the clear. The resin can be um, different colors. Uh, it could be uh, even a green or a blue, it can be pigmented, but you do lose some of the translucency as you um, uh, create more color value within the resin. The wood itself is, uh, is obtained from the um, lagoon pilings in uh, Venice that they tie the gondolas to that actually over time they, they, um, the core uh, pilings they tend to deteriorate so they have to replace them. They salvage the interior core. Uh, the, the, the name for this in Italian is bricole. And obviously because of the transference of light through the body it's great if it's backlit. This could be great for tables or even wall panels. Um, and again, you can, they can be backlit 
Um, the, the dimensions can be as large as four foot by 10 foot, and we can do pores up to two inch thick. This one, as you can see, the cross section is roughly three eighths, which would be the thinnest. Uh, we can also play with the amount of exposed resin. The shards can be pinched in so you have less resin, or if you prefer, they can be opened up and we can increase the, uh, the, uh, the amount of resin that's exposed within in the material. Uh, all of the uh, items that you see are available on our website. Uh, we do have samples in the showroom. We're happy to have you come and uh, visit the showroom at any time. And uh, we can send samples on request. So anything you're interested in, we're happy to uh, forward along to you. Thanks.